Hi everyone. Um, yesterday I ran into somebody at the supermarket and they said to me, um, they heard me speak about um, that we have our own overnight accommodation, Ilya, this overnight. Um, so could I speak a little bit more about it um, as they thinking of doing something like this? I said to him, not a problem. Uh, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to try and give value, try to help, try to educate. So Today we're going to talk a little bit about guest houses, overnight accommodation, and just try to see where we can help. All right, so basically in the big cities, um, you find a lot of them. And a lot of the guys are struggling when you speak to them, and there's only a handful that is actually doing well. The biggest problem is that everyone's doing the same thing. Everyone's just waiting for the business to come to them. <laughs> that doesn't work anymore. You've got to chase the business. So some pointers for today. If you're doing overnight, there's a difference between overnight and guest houses. So people, you know, um, they call themselves guest houses, but they're not really guest houses. You know, they, they don't offer the facility of a guest house. So I always say, look, if you know um, you've got a room, you're offering self catering um, and those are the small things that you're actually offering. Call yourself an overnight. Somebody comes in overnight and they move out guest houses. You're bigger offering your meals. Uh, venues um, I always say that is the way I look at it now the most important thing and this is what I say to everybody is go and have a look at your costs now at a certain level from to about five six seven rooms people start to bring in staff to run it to managers and that it doesn't really make money only after a certain amount of rooms you actually really do make money to have a receptionist and um, start to have staff where you don't have to work it. Now, overnight, not a bad business. Um, and uh, I've advised a lot of people in this uh, situation. Let's say, for instance, um, you need to make yourself a couple of rands um, and you're looking for a second income. And a safe income is that, um, you know, um, you can actually invest in changing a little bit of your house um, and uh, creating some rooms nice rooms, aircon rooms, um, and try to create a little bit of extra income. Now, this advice comes more to the elderly that I have actually spoken to. And I always say to them, you know, be careful, don't go and spend tons of cash uh, in a business. You know what, make your two or three rooms, get a reputation out there that it's nice, people come and stay there, you get your regulars. And uh, there's a lot of people that like that kind of atmosphere because they say it is more of a family orientated type of atmosphere. Now, what I say to people as well is, you know, you've got a small place, um, people go and run and they get credit card machines and that. There are cheaper ways to do it. Credit card machines are expensive. Purchase your own credit card machines. You can buy credit card machines from 1,300 to 2,000 Rand because you're not doing a lot of transactions. Keep your costs low. Um, when you're doing your Mnet channels, don't go for the very big packages. Go for your sports. Choose your smaller packages. Um, try to keep your costs low. If you don't have a lot of rooms, uh, don't do all the own washing. Get a laundry service to come out. You know your costs, how much it costs for a towel, how much it costs for a sheet. And you exactly can know how to budget and see what you're doing. Now, one of the biggest things is that, and like I said, most people are they're not really making money. They, they, you know what, when there's a big function, there are soccer games, rugby games, or um, whatever, what type of city you're living in, yes, they'll make money for those couple of days. But in general, they don't really make money. Um, so this is my advice to you, is you need to think out the box. You need to have a look what your competition around you is doing. See what the pricing is. Make sure that you're not overpriced. Make sure that you doesn't help to go in, into a price war and make yourself too cheap as well because rather start with a little bit of a less price, 50 Rand, because then you shoot yourself in the foot. Now, one of the other things I always say is market yourself. A lot of places, they don't even have any advertising. Late at night, people driving past, they can't even see that it is a guest house or an overnight accommodation. Market yourself. Go into Facebook, create your page, um, you know, that people can actually have a look. In the beginning, you don't have business, get yourself involved with these agencies that actually 
bring you business. They do take a commission in that. But at the end of the time, uh, day, as your business grows, that commission will come down. You will start to have more regulars. It's not bad to give that commission to give your business that boost that it actually needs. Now, what you do is you go to the supermarkets. They've always got these boards where you can put your advertising. Advertise, you know, your your guest house. Um, at, go to the hospitals. They've got boards. Put down an advert there. Um, you know, start to phone companies. Say, find out which companies do send people to Bloemfontein, your bigger companies, and put out a package deal. Go to the state agents. Tell them, look, you know what, when people are moving from one city to another and maybe the property is not ready for some other reason, there might have been a burst pipe or the painters hadn't finished, you know what, we will give you guys a rate for people to stay and we're happy to give you a discount and a kickback uh, back to them. So that encourages them to promote your place. Go to a guest house that's around you big there are big uh, guest houses and that are maybe constantly full with functions and they do have contracts and say to them look you know um please if you are full and you can't uh, you know complete all the the requirements say it's a big group and you need a bit of space we just down the road we're more than happy to kick you back a 10 percent discount so that there is a reason for them and an incentive for them to actually say you know what we really want to actually do business with you very very important your place needs to be clean people look at reviews i cannot uh tell you how important reviews are many people go on the internet they have a look what other people have put there and that is what counts don't in the beginning get depressed and down because people put bad reviews and that you learn from that try always ask yourself you know, would I stay in this room? Is this up to the requirements that would be good enough for me? And that is how you always got to see. Very important, make sure that you have Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi has become the essential thing. Companies are constantly uh, having people coming through. People are with their kids. Everybody wants Wi-Fi. You know, I, I, without Wi-Fi, you're struggling today's time. You're going to lose such a big portion of your business. So Wi-Fi, important. Put out a little bit of an entertainment area. Have a braai. Go and put yourself a small braai area. If you've got space, put in a pool table. If you, don't have, if you can put in a table tennis more, it actually says, you know what, there is something else to do. You know, people come, they want to relax. They like to braai. The kids maybe want to play pool. Now you start to draw bigger crowds uh, to your place. It is essential that you understand what's around you. Go and have a look at your competition. Make sure what they are doing and try to do something better. Now, what I always say to people is, you know, when you come to my place, I like you to feel at home. And that's how people should be. You know, when they come, make them feel comfortable. Make them feel at home. Don't just leave the keys there. Let them come in because you know what? If they've got a query or they've got a question, they need to ask. Now, the other thing is, you know, um, at the end of the day, it is so essential to always be promoting yourself. And that person that leaves there does promote your business. So, in a nutshell, what I am trying to say is at the end of the day, do guest houses work? Do overnight accommodations work? Yes, they do work. But if you're planning to sit like this and wait for the business, then you're just going to become one of those guys that are always moaning and groaning and saying, my business is struggling. There's always going to be uh, people looking for accommodation. Another thing that you can do is, if your business is struggling, you can have long stays. Companies are always needing places for a week, two weeks, three weeks. Offer that. Go and talk to estate agents. Tell them, look, somebody's coming. Maybe they want to look at a property or whatever. We do give those stays. Always be promoting your business. Don't sit like this and wait. It just doesn't happen. There are many people out there that are looking to promote their businesses. So if I can tell you one thing, and this is the best advice that I can give you today, go out there. Promote, promote, promote your business. 
and you will not be one of those moaners and growers. Thank you very much. Kyriakos Iliadis. And thank you for the one, people that have subscribed on YouTube. We're on YouTube right now. So we're climbing that ladder and we're climbing it fast. Thank you very much.